There has been progress in economic growth in Africa over the last decade. It has been um, um, said several times. Regrettably, Africa's share of world trade has been falling. Agriculture production and productivity has been increasing, but from low base. There has been an increase in total factor productivity, but largely this has come from efficiency and not technology. Despite the progress, hunger and malnutrition are very high. And what do you do about the right to food? Um, people are claiming that they should be entitled to food. With population growth and urbanization, there's the need for productivity to grow much higher. The big picture, harness economic, economy wide linkages, harness regional integration, example for trade and other activities, capture opportunities for emerging global processes, tackle emerging issues like climate change, especially climate uh, change adaptation, factor in and capacitate key players for, changing, for change and development. Example, other ministries or ministries which, which are allied to agriculture, parliamentarians or celebrities in your countries, target them and use them. The CADIP is supposed to achieve high and sustainable agricultural performance, but basically they are supposed to be country-led processes both long-term and intermediary objectives and goals are needed, not only goals for 15 years or whatever, but we need, say, two, three-year goals. And if you take India, for in, India has a five-year development plan. Every five years, now they are developing the 12th plan, which will be launched next April. We need to be looking some, at something like that. Countries are supposed to prioritize. We are not supposed to do everything under the CADIP at the same time. Although it is desirable, resources are scarce. So we need to prioritize. But people need to be helped to prioritize. It has to be linked to broad-based economic transformation agenda. We can't just do agriculture. We need to link it to the, to, uh, the bigger picture, the bigger agriculture. Uh, this has to be monitored. CADIP has to be monitored. Research is helping. But there has to be a national effort. We have to have national institutions that should carry out the monitoring um, themselves. Agriculture plus. Agriculture, we should go beyond agriculture. Change internal profile and um, look at agriculture as a corporate entity. We need more private business. We need more technical focus. We need more holistic approach. We need um, investment focus. And then we need innovative financing. We should be doing business unusual. There must be effective country agricultural strategies, new investment priorities. We must support the small, smallholder agriculture, but let us think beyond small farms. We have land, and so we should promote also large farms where economic returns could be high. Put emphasis on high potential, high population density, and high market access areas for developing agriculture, that is, the development corridors. But we must also put in programs for relaxing constraints for low, low, low areas, and low potential, low density, and all of those things. We must establish new institutional mechanisms for dealing with agriculture, um, agriculture transformation. What are the conditions for transforming agriculture? There must be macro and political stability and commitment. There must be access to lucrative markets, not just markets, but the markets must be lucrative. They must give you a good return. Agriculture must be profitable to be able to attract people and retain them. Availability of non-agriculture employment must be there. As agriculture becomes profitable, marginal farmers will leave and they have to find employment. What is needed most is science and technology. We need infrastructure and support services. We need policies, that is production support and consumer support. As we, as we said, we need institutions like farmer-based organizations, cooperatives and um, civil society, other civil society organizations. We, we, um, we have to use systems approach to assist the farmer. It can't just be just fertilizer, but it has to go as a package plus all the others as a system. We need to approach uh, 
increasing productivity, um, how to approach increasing productivity. The small farmer agriculture has to be profitable and competitive, smallholder, otherwise there's no point, it has to be profitable and competitive. We need to do this through trade, and more, more so through regional trade. We have to instill the sense of commercialization in our farmers, assist them to increase profitability and establish business clusters. We have to assist farmers to identify opportunities, invest in capacity, that is financial capacity, technical capacity and managerial capacity, but along the whole value chain. We need to ensure supporting policy. We have to establish public-private partnerships in, in terms of, say, um, um, creating and disseminating knowledge, uh, building capacity, uh, providing financing, um, doing seed production, um, agro-processing, transport storage, all of these logistics, we need to do it uh, through public-private partnerships. What are the next steps for this conference? One is that um, within the next one month or so, we want to prepare and release a conference summary or synopsis. So there will be a little more detail that all of you will be getting copies and we will disseminate it even beyond people who attended the conference. We have to prepare policy briefs on topical issues. The issue about the small farm, for instance, we need to have um, say a policy brief on it. And there are several issues that have come up that we need to focus and prepare two, three, or four page policy briefs um, on this. We need to undertake country-specific and regional-specific activities. We need to take this beyond this room and go to countries or the regions to see how we can look at country-specific um, 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 problems and activities. We have to put together, we will put together a manuscript for a peer-reviewed book based on papers presented. And that will come up maybe about a year from now. Those who presented papers, we will go through again. Please revise your papers from comments that you receive and resubmit. These papers will be peer reviewed and then before they go into a book. So it's not all the 60 or 70 papers that were presented here that will go into the book. We'll be very selective and then make sure that um, um, they get peer reviewed. We have to develop a research program on productivity, food security, and poverty reduction. And then lastly, we would like to mobilize additional funding to follow for the follow up activities. Um, we apologize that the conference was on, only in English language. Um, we didn't have money for translation, so interpretation. Next time you will think about all the four languages of the African Union. So apologies. But I hope you all followed what, whatever was discussed. Appreciation, the organizers appreciate the financial support of the following organizations. The Alliance for Green Revolution in Africa, the Australian Center for International Cultural Research, CTA, um, um, FAO, RESACS, UNDP, USAID, and WFP. And on that, I'll say that is, uh, sorry, that is my end of the summary. There are three others who have to say um, their end of, this, of the conference, the summary, and then we can draw down the curtain completely. Uh, who is next? <laughs>